first thing that I would have liked to have seen is the Cobra Jet intake manifold open. driving around on E85, zero miles to empty to try to run out of fuel or get as close to running out of fuel as I can without actually running out of fuel so I can swap over to 93 octane because as you know, we have the turbo kit coming and I do not have a fuel system yet for E85 for boost. So we're gonna be running 93 now don't worry guys, I'm not gonna be going crazy on 93 octane. We're not doing anything stupid. Um, we're gonna be running low boost. I'm getting far away from this gas station. <laughs> oh man, I'm in a red light too. This is like Russian roulette guys. This is kind of like that. Um, we are playing a dangerous game, zero miles to empty. Now when I'm on 93 octane, I know I can get like 20 miles on E85. I don't know how many miles I can get without running out of fuel. Um, but what I do guys when I swap over is I just run zero miles to empty and I, I don't get on it or nothing because as you know, you shouldn't get on the car when it's that low of gas. Um, but however, I run zero miles to empty and then I drive it around the gas station until I almost run out of fuel and then I swap over to 93 or E85. I've been driving around for a minute so I'm gonna go ahead and pull up in here and just let it run for a little bit by the gas pump. Um, here we're gonna let the car run a little bit longer and get as low as we can on the e85 so we can fill up with 93 octane i'm not gonna bore you guys with sitting here so we'll catch you back here in just a minute all right guys so we are going to fire this up i've got the stock 93 tune loaded in now it's gonna take a minute to get it over on 93 because you got to get all the E85 out of the fuel lines. As you can tell, it's already running a little better. Uh, one short-term fuel trim, that I'm going to show you right now, has probably gone pretty high up. Yeah, as you can see, they're way up there in the 40s. They're in the 40s. So I'm going to sit here, I'm going to let it come down. A little bit before we take off uh, it'll start coming down once the e85 is out as, as you can see it's starting to come down we're just gonna cruise around it'll help get the fuel out of there faster we drive more and more 93 get pushed up and we'll be out of the e85 short-term fuel trims will come down and everything will be back the way we want it to be all right guys so see right here i don't know i'm driving down the road if you look over here my short-term fuel trims if you look now they're actually running great right now anything plus or minus less than 10 percent is a good thing and as you can see we are doing very good right now all right guys so now that we've got the short-term fuel trims back everything's looking good i know i got all the e85 out of the fuel lines so we're back on 93 octane and driving around and i'll get on it here in a little bit when we get out of traffic but it's going to be slow guys <laughs> uh, it's a 
night and day difference between the E85 tune and the stock tune. It's still a fun car, don't get me wrong guys, but it is half a second or more slower in the eighth mile with just the E85 tune from the stock 93 tune. That tells a story right there guys. However, we're gonna change all that here shortly with the Hell Horse Performance twin turbo kit that we are going with in the car. So guys, that's coming in the future, so stay tuned to the channel. Hopefully we'll have the rest of the turbo kit in this weekend, and we will be starting the install, and I will bring bringing you guys all the content from the install, the dyno when we're tuning it, and as you know, the drag strip. We will have tons and tons of fun at the drag strip with this car. And then eventually we're going E85, we're gonna put the clutches in the transmission to build it up, and we are going to keep on moving with the car, pushing it forward. All right, so another thing I wanna go over today's video with you guys is the new Mach 1. A lot of you have asked what I think about the new Mach 1. I've even talked about it in my live streams. However, I wanted to talk about it in a video with you guys to give you guys all of my thoughts of the new Mach 1. Now, when the new Mach 1 first came out, I was really disappointed. The main reason is, is that I had high expectations of the Mach 1, being that I owned a 04 Mach 1, and the 04 Mach 1 to the 04 GT was a substantial performance difference between the two cars. I've driven both in stock form, and the Mach 1 just outperforms it in every way. So, when the new Mach 1 was introduced with only 20 horsepower over the GT, I thought Ford missed it. I, I you know, and I still kind of do. I, I still think Ford missed it with that. And so, I'm still disappointed in that. Also, another thing I was disappointed with, aside from the front bumper, I feel like Ford just threw parts being at it. Whatever they had in the parts bin, let's throw at it. Nothing unique with the car. This Gen 3 Coyote, GT350 intake manifold, GT350 transmission, GT350 spoiler, and let's just custom design the front bumper and put Mach 1 badges on it and call it a day. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Not a lot of thoughts into it. We're done. That was my initial impression on the car. And guys, I still kind of feel like it's a parts bin car. But did they use the best of all the parts to make a car that we've kind of been asking for? Let's think about that. When the PP1 car came out, we asked, why didn't you put the GT350 transmission in it? They used the MK2. I actually asked that question when they, the 18 GT came out. I was kind of hoping that they would use the GT350 transmission and the 18 plus Mustang GTs, but they didn't. So they listened to us. They put the Tremec 6 speed transmission out of GT350 in a car behind the Coyote like we asked them to. But we wanted that in the GT, not something you're calling the Mach 1. So in my opinion, Ford kind of dropped the ball in the performance aspect of the car. They really did. And so what are some things that I think that they could have done differently. The first thing that I would have liked to have seen is the Cobra Jet intake manifold on the car. Because if you remember back 1969, the Mach 1, you could get a Cobra Jet version of the Mach 1. And I would have really liked to have seen them pay tribute to that with giving at least an option from the factory to order a Cobra Jet Mach 1. So you get the Cobra Jet intake manifold in the Mach 1. That would have been cool. That would have been really cool to see and they could have bumped the horsepower even further up. Uh, another thing that I would would have kind of liked to have seen is even though I like the Gen 3 Coyote, maybe use the Predator engine, the 5.2 cross plane crank and bump the compression up. 11 to 1, 12 to 1 compression, 500 plus horsepower that would have been really cool but at the bare minimum i would have liked to seen the cobra jet intake manifold on the mach 1. i do like the new redesigned front bumper that they have for the mach 1. i really do like that front bumper on the car 
Uh, maybe that's something that'll pass down to the GT before the S650 comes out. Maybe not. Not sure. And I also like the fact that they're using the rear spoiler off the GT350 and the base GT500 on the Mach 1. Although they're only using it on the track version, I wish they would have used it on both versions. One thing that I do like they did with the car is they are offering it in either manual or 10 speed auto. But the 10 speed auto version is not enough above the GT to go, okay, I'm gonna spend you know, however much more getting a Mach 1 over a GT when I can just buy the 10R80 Mustang GT and modify it to whatever I want and, and run it a lot cheaper. You could have put a, in, a Cobra Jet intake manifold on that car. You could have geared that car a lot more toward drag racing. I would have liked to seen the Mach 1 with the 10R80 go mid to low 11s stock. Now let's talk about the, the track version. The track version is basically a GT350 with the Coyote in it. And there's a lot of people that have said they would have loved to seen the GT350 with the Coyote. So they kind of got their wish there. And also they said they would love to see it in the new body style. So you kind of got a GT350 with a Coyote in the new body style. So those of you that have wanted the GT350 with the Coyote and in the new body style, you got your wish you got the car with the new track version of the Mach 1. But another thing that I would have liked to have seen in the car is a seven speed manual trimming transmission. Quite a few people was wanting the DCT transmission, kind of wanted the the Coyote married with the DCT transmission out of the, the GT500, they wanted to see that. For me, I wanted to see Ford finally put a seven speed manual Tremec transmission like the Camaro SS has got in a Mustang. I wanted to see that. So Ford could have put the Cobra Jet intake manifold, the seven speed manual Tremec transmission and really had a great unique car. So, all right guys, so final thoughts on the Mach 1 is I do love the appearance of it. I, I love the, the look of it, however, the performance, I feel like Ford needs a little more work. You can just buy the you can just buy the Mustang GT unless you're wanting the Mach 1 nameplate. That's my final opinions on it. Ford, put the Cobra Jet intake manifold on that car. Give that car 500 plus horsepower and give it something unique. That's what we want to see. Those are my final thoughts coming more and more around toward the Mach 1. I like the car. It's just just a few little things Ford could do differently that would have really set that car off, in my opinion. But we'll wait and see the price tag on it. That's going to be the ultimate deciding factor for everyone. If it's a low $50,000 car, I think Ford did good. If it's a high $50,000 car or, you know, right in the price of a GT350, I think Ford missed the ball on the Mach 1. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. And hopefully soon guys we will have the turbo install happening on this car and i will have all that content out for you guys all right guys that's gonna be it for this video if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button subscribe if you haven't and we will see you next time